Okay, go ahead. Okay. So now the next thing is what we need to do is we need to stretching all the anterior part of the upper extremity. Anterior means front part. Okay. This is an anatomical position, so this is the front part. We need to stretching this, this, and this. All right. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do by yourself or a couple of things that someone can help you. So, first of all, this is what you can do. That we were stretching this palm muscle. So, in order to do this, we can do that. You can cover five fingers, we can do that. Okay? Some people can help you to do whatever the way it is, just stretching this wrist, which is including the palm muscle. So, that's what you need to do. Okay. Okay? This part, what we can do is what you can do is this probably hard to do that. Just just kind of like doing this, okay? And okay. Like stretching that. All right. Yeah, like that, and then you can kind of like stretching this part. Right. Yeah. And someone probably can help you to do that too. Okay. This part, then we need to do is. We're using the door and you can try to holding this way and then or you can holding this way and just do this part to stretch. Oh so you lean in and that puts yeah. pressure on it and exactly. stretches it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or you can do everything like that. Okay. Yeah. So we will stretching the whole upper extremities. Especially the anterior component. This is a part. Okay. Okay. So that's a that's the one part you do. Okay. How many times do you need to do that? This one probably need to do two or three times a day. Two or three times a yeah. day. And then every time you hold it and you count twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, and count twenties. And that's called one section. Okay. Yeah. Alright, hold on. Yeah. 